The very first thing Mr. Beast does in every single one of his videos to get zillions of views is start with a bang. Now, I don't mean an explosion, but he does use a lot of those. He immediately tells you what you're gonna get and delivers on the title and thumbnail. I built a giant death trap. And to enhance it, he often does this. We just hit 100 million subscribers and from the bottom of my heart. Did you catch it? I did it when I started this video. Just a simple zoom out to make it more interesting and increase engagement. And sometimes he'll throw a couple in in the first few seconds. Behind me is one person from every country on earth. My face, not interesting. And now, kind of terrifying. <laughs> This is a clip of a dude I saw play last night. You know, it looks fine, it's pretty, shot it with my iPhone. But we want it to start big and then zoom out so there's a more interest in the beginning. To do that, we're going to select the clip, hit this icon here, which is a keyframe. A keyframe simply marks the beginning or the end of a change in a property. In this case, we're gonna be changing two properties, position and scale. To be able to move forward in small increments, frames instead of seconds, you wanna pick up your phone and you want to zoom all the way in on the timeline by spreading your fingers apart like this or your thumbs. And now we're zoomed out to the point that we can see frames, like right here, right above, we're at frame two, frame four, frame five. We want to set another keyframe right there, and we want him to end up here slightly bigger than there because we're gonna do we're gonna do two of these real quick. So I'm gonna just zoom in a little bit here and position his head a little bit higher. Then going back to that keyframe, that very first one, and I'm gonna make him much bigger so there's a lot of zoom happening right here. And we'll keep his face in the frame there, but make him much bigger. And now when I hit play. You can see that he zooms out and bam, he slams in. So it looks pretty good. But what if we could do another one a little bit later? Here's how you do that. We're going to just scroll down a little bit, another second or two, and set another keyframe right here. From this frame, we're going to go forward another five or six frames. One, two, three, four, five, around there. Add another keyframe by hitting the same button again, the little diamond and pinch our fingers together until he snaps completely into position. You know when that happens because these lines go white just like that. Now we have two zoom outs in just a few seconds. Here's one, two. Now they look okay, but to make them better, we want to add some motion blur because if we go through this slowly, you can see there's no blur going on. It's kind of boring. Let me set my phone down so you can see my mouse. To add motion blur, we're going to export this by hitting the export button. It goes super fast. We're going to quit out of this and open a brand new project and import our brand new clip with both of those zoom outs. We're gonna select this new clip and then we're going to scroll over to motion blur, which is right here. Then we're going to slide the blur slider all the way to the right. And that's really all you need to do. Then you just hit this check mark. I'm gonna make it full frame vertical so you can see it by clicking this little icon here. And now, boom and boom. And you don't need to limit that to just the beginning of the video. You can do these little zoom ins and zoom outs anywhere in the video that it's appropriate and will enhance the story. I'm gonna share with you four more things Mr. Beast does when he edits his videos to keep people watching. Then I'm gonna share with you the number one thing you can do for your short form content to keep viewers engaged. The second thing Mr. Beast does in nearly every one of his videos is use speed ramps. A $250,000 vacation. This even... is beautiful. How is this real? It keeps the pace moving and keeps the interest level way up. Here's how you do it in CapCut. Here's some drone footage of the most haunted city in the entire United States, Virginia City. I did a, a ghost video there on my other channel. You should, you should check it out. But it's going on kind of long, so what we could do is just speed this thing up in the beginning and then slow it down. Now, to do that, you just click on it and you hit speed. And if we want to change the speed of the entire clip, just make the whole thing much faster or much slower, we would select normal. But we want it to go fast and then woof, ramp down to much more slow. To do that, we click on curve, we click on custom, we select edit right here, and now this is a graph showing this entire video. We can move forward through it just by scrolling like this. All these little circles are keyframes. CapCut calls them beats. We can use these existing beats or keyframes or we can add our own. Let's go ahead and try using theirs. We want it to go faster here in the beginning and then go slow starting about right there. So to do that, we are going to drag this guy up here to, I don't know, fast, let's make it way faster, 10 times faster. And maybe this guy will make you 10 times faster. This guy we don't need, we're just gonna hit delete beat. And then let's see what that looks like. It's okay, but it went 
really fast and then it took a long time to slow down. We don't want it to be an abrupt slowdown, we want it to be really quick and smooth. To do that, we simply move this beat over. And that should look cooler. Yeah, not bad, right? To confirm we like it, we hit the check mark and we hit the check mark again. Now if we add a little music and sound effects, it might look something like this. My heart is pounding. You can use speed ramps like this on all kinds of clips that have motion. If the camera is what's moving, you want the camera to be very stable, like on a drone or on a gimbal. If the subject is moving, the camera should be on a tripod or you should be moving the camera very smoothly like this shot of my dog here. What you know about rolling down in the the third thing Mr. Beast uses all the time are graphics. Tons of wood, rope, and everything else we would need. But I don't know how to make graphics. Yeah, that, that doesn't matter. The reason it doesn't matter is because CapCut has a bunch of graphics built in. They call them stickers. And the internet also has an unlimited supply of graphics that you can use in your videos. Let's go back to our drone shot and try to add a graphic. We simply scroll down here until we see the word stickers, which is again what CapCut calls their built-in graphics. You can scroll down, swipe down, and see a whole bunch. Some are pro, some are free. There's a bunch of different categories, just emojis and arrows and all kinds of stuff that you can use. A lot of these graphics are animated. It looks like all of them on this page are animated. And some of the graphics can go around the entire frame like this one. We can click on it. And I use my fingers because it's a lot easier to adjust and just scale it up like that. Hit the check mark. And then if we make it full size, we can see it goes like this. But what if you've looked at all the graphics and all these things and you're like, you know, I'd really like a ghost and I don't see one here. What can I do? Well, you can scroll back over here to the beginning where this little plus sign is, click on that. Then you can import anything that you may have downloaded from the internet or created yourself. Like, hey, say this ghost right here. Now I have a ghost that I can mess with put him on the road, and not only can I just play that ghost like that, I can also animate the ghost. To animate the ghost, we go to the beginning point, and we position the ghost where we want him to be in the beginning. Then we're just gonna set another keyframe. We're going to scale and move this ghost. So we just click on this little diamond here, keyframe number one. Then we go to, I don't know, the end of the clip, and we position the ghost where we want him to be, maybe way down here, so he's jamming down the road. And we make him a little smaller because he's going into the distance. Looks something like this. Now we can play with it to try to keep the guy in line. And one thing that CapCut does and any program does when you're messing with keyframes is notice there are no keyframes right here. But if I move him here, look what it does. It automatically added a keyframe there. So now he's staying close to the middle of the road. And then I can just check to see if he's going off path at all and just adjust him so he's where he needs to be. Let's see how it looks. We'll go full screen and hit play. Now we have our very own ghost. That's freaking terrifying. The fourth thing Mr. Beast uses in his videos is tracking like this. <laughs> Notice how those graphics just follow those people? Using keyframes, we could have manually done that. Mr. Beast's editors or graphics people probably used tracking in After Effects to make those graphics automatically follow those people. And it can be complicated in one of those other programs, but in CapCut, it's really easy to track in CapCut. You take a video that has some motion, and then you just add a graphic that you want to track to the motion by simply clicking over here on stickers, choosing a graphic that you want to move along with your clip, Hit the check mark. I want to make sure that this graphic lasts the entire duration of my clip, so I'm gonna click here and drag it to the end. I'm gonna scale and position this subscribe button so it's right over my hand. Then with this sticker selected, I'm gonna to scroll to the right here in this toolbar at the bottom, hit tracking, and position this over the object I want to track. In this case, I want to track my hand, so I'll put it right in the middle, and then I just hit start tracking. Let's play it and see how it did. Everyone, subscribe. Get your family to subscribe. Your dog, your mom, your dad, your cousin. That wasn't perfect, but it looked pretty good. Remember, Mr. Beast spends hundreds of thousands, sometimes millions of dollars on his videos, and they don't look Hollywood perfect. They look fun. So make your videos fun. The fifth thing Mr. Beast does in his videos to increase engagement and keep people watching is put stuff behind him or around him that may not be there. Like he might add some people behind him. 
I invited all my friends. Here's how you do it in CapCut. Let's say I want to hang out with my, you know, my close friend Casey Neistat, but you know, I wasn't there that day. Let's add a video clip of me on top of this clip by hitting the overlay button. Hit add overlay. Find this clip. Hit add. I've chosen the piece of the clip I want to use and it's positioned evenly with the clip of Casey. The next step is to click on the clip of me and select cutout, which is right here. And I'm just gonna hit remove background and hit the check mark. And bam, I'm removed, we're almost there. Then it's gonna pick it up and scale me so I'm scaled more appropriately for the scene. It's easier with your thumbs than the mouse. I'm just gonna go like this till my head is about the same size as Casey's. And you know, this will work a lot better if you match the lighting and stuff, but we're just gonna kind of roll with it like this. It's not too bad, but what if I could sandwich me in between the background and Casey? Is that possible? Why, why yes, yes it is. I'm gonna click on Casey, scroll over and hit copy. So there's another Casey clip. I want the Casey clip to be on top of all of these because I'm gonna, well, you'll see. With Casey selected, I'm going to hit cut out and hit remove background and hit the check mark. Now we're both cut out, but I wanna see Casey, then me, then background. So with the clip of Casey highlighted, the new one that's already cut out, I scroll over here to overlay and then I just click on it and I drag it over this way and look at this. Now what do we have? Yeah, so I like hired these, these dudes off Craigslist. Not, not bad, right? But we can just scale me a little better. So I'm gonna click on that clip of me and scale it down a tiny bit because I'm in the background, right? I'm over here somewhere. Now let's hit play and see how this looks. Yeah, so I like hired these, these dudes off Craigslist. With a free program on your phone. Oh dude, one more thing that's super important. Did you know that most short form content Think shorts, reels, and TikTok is watched with this sound off, and so is a lot of long form content. If you want to drastically increase your views on your short form content, especially, and also on your long form content, you should add Mr. Beast style captions. Click on this video right here, right now, to learn how to add Mr. Beast style captions quickly and easily using CapCut. See you later. Mr. Beast style.